All right, guys. Cowboys win 16 to 10 yesterday. Uh, didn't play well. It was one of the ugliest games I've ever seen performed by both teams. And the only reason the Cowboys won was really just because Tampa Bay sucked worse than we did. So uh, a lot of things to work on uh, before this Bears game because the Bears are a pretty good team. Their offensive line is not very good, but they've got a solid pass rush and they can really play defense. And, and don't get me wrong, they've got a good running game with Matt Forte if he's healthy and Jay Cutler as well that can make some plays. So the Cowboys will need to you know, step up a little bit from this week into next week. They got a little better this week from last week, but you know they had so much to improve on from last week against Seattle, and they only improved on some of it. The three things they improved on was the defense. Uh, they played a lot better. Rob Ryan did a lot better of not doing a bunch of three-man rush, and the special teams improved. Um, didn't turn the ball over, had a good punt return from Dez, and, you know, the onside kick was a little stupid, but, you know what, it didn't come back to hurt us, so I'm not angry about that. Um, and it really didn't, like I said, it just didn't hurt us, so it was worth a shot. Uh, the other thing that, impre that improved was one player, just I want to stand out one player, and that's Des Bryant. Really improved from last week. Des Bryant came to play, made a lot of catches, made some plays, had a good punt return, and really improved from last week. So those are the three keys that really improved. Now, the three... There's not really three things that I can say that didn't improve, but there's some things that really bothered me in this game that reminded me a lot of last week. One, the offensive line. They were horrible. Too many false starts. Too many holding penalties. Just did not do a good job of blocking for Romo. Romo took a lot of nasty shots, and if this is going to continue, Romo's going to end up getting hurt, and we're going to be stuck with Kyle Orton for the rest of the season. The offensive line's got to get it together. Um... The other thing that did not improve was we're not on the same page offensively. Uh, there was a lot of times where Romo threw the ball way over the receiver's head and the receiver's looking back for a curl route. Uh, other times Romo threw a short, guys going deep. we got to be on the same page. There's no excuse for us not to be on the same page whenever we had all this time to practice. There was no lockout. We had plenty of time to practice. There is no reason for us to not be on the same page in week three. There, the chemistry should not be a problem, and right now that is a problem for our offense. And... Like I said, also the false starts and penalties, that's a real kill as well. But again, that's partially not being on the same page. So we've got to get those things together. Uh, the other thing is Jason Witten. I, I don't want to I hate getting on Witten because Witten's my favorite, one of my favorite players, uh, one of my favorite athletes, period. But Jason Witten last week dropped a lot of balls. And I didn't get on him, and I got on Dez. And it's not, it wasn't really fair. It's not fair for me not to get on Witten this week after two weeks of him doing this. And Dez pr improved. Um, I understand Jason Witten may be still hurt. I understand that. But if he is too hurt to where he cannot even catch the ball, he doesn't need to be playing. Because that just hurts the team, and it, it doesn't do anything. All that does is hurts the Dallas Cowboys. So, yeah, I think we need to... Jason Witten needs to start catching the ball, or else we need to put him on the bench and put Phillips or Hannah in there. Uh, this is insane to me. Yeah, Witten did not block well. He was... Oh, I think he did two false start penalties. And he dropped three passes. Uh, that's unacceptable. It, it really is unacceptable. So we got to get something going here with Jason Witten. If he's too hurt, we need to sit him down, rest him, whatever we need to do, play Hannah or Phillips, because right now it's just hurting the team. Uh, off that, I was really upset about that. Um, I, I tried not to get on him too hard, as you guys can see. But uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? That's pretty much it from the game. Uh, Romo didn't play very very well, obviously. Three turnovers. One was not his fault, but that interception shouldn't have thrown it. It was forced. And then the fumble, which was questionable to me, I, I don't understand that. I think that if the ball is loose, but it, maybe it was loose, but he still threw it in a motion forward. So that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, two things I want to talk about. Um, one, Tampa Bay... Busting off the line when the Dallas Cowboys were taking a knee. Uh, we saw this against the Giants. We saw this with Greg Schiano. I believe that's his name. I may be wrong about that. I can't think of his name for sure, but I think it's Greg Schiano. Uh, we saw him do this at Rutgers. We know he's going to do it. So, uh, my opinion on this, I think it is totally bullcrap uh, that he's doing that. And I think that the league needs to step in. Because Roger Goodell is all about protecting the players. And, and I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for protecting the players. I don't like these helmet-to-helmet -helmet shots either because we got to stop concussions. Okay? 
Uh, I know a lot of people always want to say, you know, it's football, it's a physical game, these guys know what they got themselves into. Look, we've got to protect these players because some of these guys, we've seen guys that have retired that don't even know their own names because of these hits. We've seen guys kill themselves because of taking so many shots to the head. So we need to get this under control. But anyway, yeah, the, the league needs to step in on this because the only thing that's going to happen is somebody's going to get hurt. Um, the, the reason why people are going to get hurt is because Tampa Bay, if if the defense is there, you know, when they're taking a knee, they don't have their offense isn't going to be shooting off the ball. So the defensive line just getting a tee off on the offensive line, if that makes any sense. So we need to get this stopped if we want to protect the players. That's something that needs to be a rule. The NFL needs to get in on this. Uh, something else, uh, the, the NFL officials. <sighs> the replacement officials have not been very good. I'll admit, okay? But another thing is they should not be in this situation. Um, this is a bad situation for these guys to be in, and they're doing the best they can. Now, having said that, I don't think that these referees have been that bad. I don't think they've been horrible. I don't think they've cost a team a game yet. Now, will that happen? It could. But I think they've gotten better as the, as the weeks have gone by for the most part. Um, you know, a lot of people don't agree with me on that, but I don't think they've been that bad. Uh, part of it is I'm a little biased because I am a baseball umpire. I've been doing it for a long time. And as you can tell, I'm actually dressed in my uniform right now. But the, the problem with the NFL officials, the real NFL officials, everybody wants to blame the NFL for not paying them the money. Well, here's my, my look at it. The NFL officials, the real ones, are basically what they said before this season. They said that there is nobody else that can do our job. So we want more money, and if we don't get it, then we're not going to referee, and you can just have to find somebody else. That's pretty much what they've said. Okay, for one, it is not about the referees. Okay, I've learned that as an umpire. When you're umpiring a baseball game, it's not about you. It is about the teams, and it's about the kids, and it's about the guys playing. It's not about the referees or the officials. So these guys are making this about them, and I think that is really bullcrap there as well. Now, another thing, um, somebody argued with me on another video. This is not a strike. You're, yeah, that, that's correct. It's not a strike. It is a lockout. But these referees did go on strike in a way by saying, we want more money or we're not officiating. So it is, in a way, kind of a strike. The NFL put them on lockout but it is also kind of a strike in the same sense. So pretty much a sim pretty good similarity there. You can see why people would call it a strike. And I can see where people are coming from there. Anyway, off that, um, I definitely think unless these referees want to come back, I don't pay them more money. I keep going with these replacement officials. It's not right for them guys to be trying to make this about them. It's not about them. It's about the players. Um, that's my opinion. Roger Goodell needs to make a point there as well. People are going to disagree with me there. Uh, I understand that. But let me know what you guys think. Um, about all that. Hopefully the Cowboys will improve again next week. It's a Monday night football game against the Bears. Um, I'll try and get on right after the game, maybe Tuesday morning. But uh, hopefully the Cowboys can play well. Uh, go Cowboys, guys. Let me know what you think. Take it easy.